I'm Liz Fiella. Um, many of you might know me from MFC past. I am from New Hampshire. I play traditional Irish music mostly, um, and I've often taught the um, beginner fiddlers, and I have such a great time at MFC every year. I'm so glad that we get to continue it in some way, um, even though I miss seeing all of you in person and getting mosquito bitten with you and eating all the amazing MFC food together. We'll just have to make our own cinnamon rolls this year. So today I want to teach you guys a tune that actually is not Irish, even though many of you know I play mostly Irish music, um, but this is a, just a really great march, or you might also think of it as a hornpipe called Bonaparte Crossing the Rocky Mountains. Um, there's also a tune called Bonaparte Crossing the Rhine. This is a different tune. Um, just a really, really beautiful old-timey tune. And so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to teach you the tune, and you can pause the video to kind of learn it by ear and go back and repeat different parts um, if you need to practice it a little bit. And then once you have the basic idea of the tune, I'm going to give you three different variations on the tune. Okay, so here's the tune slowly in short phrases so that you can learn it by pausing the video. Here's the first phrase. Starts with your first finger on the D string. One, two, three. Here's the second phrase, starts with your open E string. One, two, three. Here's the third phrase, it starts the same way as the first phrase. First finger on the D string. One, two, three. Here is the fourth phrase. Starts with your open E string. One, two, three. Now we're on to the B part. The B part starts with your open E string. One, two, three. Notice that there's a high second finger on the A string in that one phrase. That's the only time you're going to have a high second finger on the A string. The rest of the time it's going to be low. All right, here's the second phrase of the B part. Starts with your open E string. One, two, three. Third phrase of the B part. This will be familiar. It's from the A part as well. Starts with your first finger on the D string. One, two, three. Last phrase of the B part. Starts with your open E string. Again, this is going to sound familiar from the A part. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to play the whole tune really slowly once all the way through. One, two, three.
tune up to speed and I'm going to play it through once. One, two, three. <laughs> and feel free to go back and repeat any of the parts that I already played just to make sure that you've got it. Um, and you can pause the video as much as you want just to make sure that you've got the tune under your fingers. Um, we can start learning some of the variations. So here is the first variation. This is probably the easiest one. We're just gonna add some slides to the tune. So I slides are like one of my things. I really like doing slides. Um, so usually what you're doing for a slide is an upward slide, which means you're gonna start usually about a half step below the note that you want to reach, and then you slide your finger up into place. So um, here are a couple places where you're gonna put some slides into the tune. So after you play that opening phrase, da 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 da, you can slide on the second finger here. So you start your second finger a little lower than you normally would and go, So it'll go. And then you're gonna slide to this third finger as well. So in this phrase right here, you have two little upward slides, that second finger and then the third finger. So if you start at the beginning, it sounds like this. And then another kind of slide that we want to throw in here is a downward slide. So these slides usually start on, um, on a first or a second finger often. And what you're going to do is you're going to slide from that finger down towards the scroll and you're going to lift the finger as you slide to the open string. So um, in this part of the tune... We have two downward slides. They're both from second fingers. So in this phrase, this second finger that follows on that note is gonna slide to the open E. And then again, that second finger on the A string is gonna slide to the open A. So it'll be And then we can even slide up to this third finger. So all together, those are all the slides we're gonna have in the A part. I'm gonna play the whole A part for you and I'm gonna call out whenever we're gonna do a slide. So here's how it goes. One, two, three. That's 
the whole A part. So it gives it this kind of smooth sliding feeling to the tune. I, I really like adding those little, they, they add a little bit of attitude to this tune, I have to say. So in the B part, we're gonna add some double stops. Um, the whole first phrase of the B part. We're gonna play as a double stop with the A and the E strings. So sometimes you're gonna be playing on the E string with an open A below it, and then other times you're gonna be playing on the A string with an open E above it. So it'll sound like this. And then actually after that, we're back to exactly what we did in the A part with the slides. Okay, so here's that entire variation from the beginning. One, two, three. Okay, so here's the intermediate variation. Um, there are a couple things we're gonna add to the A part of this. The first thing is going to be a third finger slide to a unison. So here's what I mean by that. Um, when you start the tune, you're kind of walking up to that open A, and the note right before the open A is your third finger. So what you wanna do is you actually wanna slide on that third finger so that it goes up into, for the classical people among us, second position, and then you're going to be playing the third finger along with the open A. So it's gonna go like this. So the third finger matches the pitch of the open A. So it sounds like this. That's kind of a fun little variation there. The other thing we're gonna do in this A part is we're gonna play some mordants. And a mordant is this little um, ornament that I actually mostly use in Irish music, but it's, um, you take a, whatever note you're going to play, you play that note, the note above that note, and then go back to that note. And all of that happens really quickly right at the beginning of the note. So for example, on your, if you're gonna do a second finger mordant, you're gonna play that second finger, then the third finger, then the second finger again, but you're gonna do that in one bow, and you're gonna do it really quickly. So it's just this little blip right at the beginning of the note. So we have our third finger slide to a unison. a third finger mordant here. Then a second finger mordant here. So here's that beginning of the tune. And then you do basically the same thing again. a little mordant on that open string there at the end, the way I did there. 
All right, so in the beat part, we're going to actually do something called anticipating the beat, which means that we're starting a note that would start on the downbeat before the downbeat. So to do this, we're actually going to leave out the pickup notes at the beginning of the B part. So instead of going, we're going to go, So we're going to do that every time instead of going instead of doing that we're just going to start that third finger note early so this is what it'll all sound like just so you get a bigger picture so it gives it a kind of a groovy feel so here is the B part with anticipating the beat and then once we come around to the same phrases we had in the A part, we're going to do the same things with the third finger slide to a unison and the ornamentation. So here we go. One, two, three. intermediate variation. One, two, three. So this one I actually want to try starting out an octave below the melody. So instead of starting up here, we're going to come down here to the um, G string. We're going to have to modify the melody a little bit because the melody would go down below the G string if we kept it exactly the same and we don't have a C string because we're not violas. Um, so here is how I would play the melody an octave lower. One, two, three, four. is to play double stops that kind of pop into the tune here and there. So we're going to do the second A part that way. So here's where the double stops would pop into the A part. You would do um, keep that first finger down on the D string after you play the pickup notes. So you get that first finger on D with the open A. Then first finger on D with the low second finger on the A. And then your third finger over both the D and the A. So you got. And then you've got an octave here. Then this last little bit here, you're going to do a second finger on the G with the third finger on the D. And then you're back to where you started. that first finger on the D and the open A. 
I'm just gonna add one last little thing. So instead of playing, we're gonna do this little rocking back and forth between the melody on the E string and an open A. So it'll go like this. So again, that's three, two, open, two, three, open, and then third finger on the A. Then we're right back to the melody. Final variation all the way through. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
guys, that's it from me. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this tune, and I hope that you have a wonderful time with the rest of Virtual MFC. Again, sorry to miss seeing you guys in person this year, but I'm looking forward to when we can do that again, and I hope that you're all staying well and playing a lot of tunes these days. See you soon.